Hi everyone, I'm Barbas here and welcome to Let's Try Moonlighter. So, Moonlighter is a game released just recently. It's an action RPG with roguelite elements, where you play as an adventurous shopkeeper. It looks and sounds pretty nice, so I figured I'll give it a shot, because why the heck not? I haven't actually played it yet, so this should be interesting. Now, you can't use a mouse in this game, you need to use either a gamepad or a keyboard only. Just something to keep in mind. Very hard. No thanks. Apparently hard is recommended. I assume you can change the difficulty later. Yes, you can. It says it right there. Let's go with normal and then we can bump it up to hard. If it's too easy. One night, mazes full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared in the land. They called them dungeons, strange, ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. Soon a village of the slightly curious took a road near the dungeons. They named the village Ryoka. Among the settlers, two groups shined brightest, heroes and merchants, glory and riches. But the dungeons proved too dangerous. They were soon closed, as too many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the oldest shop, Well of the Moonlighter. Long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons. This is where we come in. I quite like the art style. So, what's going on? Okay, so... Let's see, can we actually do anything other than move around? Not really. We don't really have an inventory, we don't have any weapons, as far as I can tell. Okay, fair enough. I guess this is going to be the tutorial. Of sorts. Most likely, yeah. Okay, so spacebar to brawl jump. Yeah, this is pretty much the tutorial. Alright. So, jump over this fella. So far, so good. Jump through these. What's that supposed to be? Okay. Oh yeah, we can use... What's that? A broom? <laughs> Looks that way. Well, hey, if it works, then it works. It's not stupid if it works, right? And then... Oh yeah, we can use the healing potion or whatever that was. Okay, then. Here. Have some of this. Yep, that's a healing potion. And we can use it when needed. What's this? White stone, alright. Selling and reactions. Piece of container for preserving the properties of infused water. Okay. We can change the page. So it looks like the value goes up to 128,000. There was some other stuff in here. We can pick up all of it. Here. Like that. Alright. And another one. Hardened steel and fabric. Grab all of that. And let's move on. Hello there. That's not very nice. Nope, definitely not. Now they actually want to kill us, like, actively. <laughs> we don't have that healing potion. Might be a good idea to focus on one enemy at a time. That's a lot of dudes. Are we supposed to be fighting this many all at the same time? Or maybe it's set up so that you're going to die. Well, maybe. I think so, yeah. Certainly looks that way. Yeah, this is obviously set up so that you're just going to die. Here.
See, we're still alive. We're fine. What a sorry looking kid. All alone now. Rest for a bit, well. I have you now. Okay then. Even as a mere child, barely able to walk, you were curious of the dungeons. There is no doubt, you carry the same obsession as old Pete. Morning, boy. Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? Well, listen to me. The hard truth is this. You are the last of your family. The only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on this fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts, then use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for crater's sake, stop using that broom of yours, you daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. <laughs> Take this! <laughs> nice reference. It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have little need of it now. Okay. Do we get an actual proper weapon? <laughs> yes, we do. Now then, get up. You are wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get through your hard head some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. Alright. Well, get up then. So, what's this all about? Successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know an item's value as well as its demand. Come now, open the shop and allow the customers in. Alright. So, open. Let's see how this works. Well, we sold something. Did you see that? Best expression you can hope for. The item wasn't too expensive for them, and not so cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customers' expressions. That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. Alright. Can we rob them instead? <laughs> No, probably not. And this one is too expensive, I take it. Alright then. So, can we change the price? Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheaper prices of your words. Point is, charge higher when something is in high demand and in low supply. Take out your merchant notebook. It should hold all the information. You have gathered on discovered words and artifacts. Okay. So... Right here. We can scroll up and down. I think that's it. Would seem the sun has fallen for the day. I best head off. You will pick up more on your own. Restoring this shop to its full glory, that responsibility falls to you, not I. It's in your blood, well. Make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try that new sword of yours? Dungeons are more perils at night, but can always but one can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far and use that pendant boy. Alright then. Go on now, these weary bones of mine must rest. Okay. So here's our weapon. Where do we go then? Is there a map? <laughs> we can talk to some people. The people of Rinoka are so accustomed to culture artifacts from the dungeons. 
they have become a part of our daily lives, even a part of our food. Okay. If you say so. So, let's take a look around. Most pendants used today were found when the dungeons were first discovered. Since then, finding a new one has become nearly impossible. Alright. Have you found any new culture artifacts in the dungeons? Well, I always found it fascinating how all the items we find in the dungeons appear to be from entirely different civilizations with unique cultures. Okay. So, which way do we go? No one around here. And that's a dead end. It's going to be the last place I check, probably. Oh, this way, apparently. Dungeons, fair enough. Let's see how badly we're going to get our asses kicked. <laughs> so, we got several different entrances. Golem dungeon, dungeon available to merchants and heroes. Okay. Desert dungeon, only for heroes. Tech dungeon, no entry. Forest dungeon, dungeon available to heroes, not recommended for merchants. Okay. Well, let's go then, shall we? By the way, I'm not exactly an expert at these kinds of games, just so you know. <laughs> but hey, that doesn't mean I can't enjoy them. Alright, let's see what the range on this thing is. Yeah, something like this. That's no, not too bad. We take a step forward when attacking. Alright then. So we do have a map in the bottom left corner. And we can make it bigger. Alright. I mean, I assume the first floor, or whatever, is not going to be super hard. Let's see, wait for that guy to attack. And then attack. Or attack and then dodge roll. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, maybe don't jump down the chasm, that sounds like a good idea. Good enough. So, what about that thing? Sixty out of one hundred health. But we can heal ourselves a little bit. We can also check our inventory. No, there is nothing in our inventory right now. Okay. We're fine. So, if you want to go back, we use the pendant, from the sounds of it. I think so. We can also change our weapons. We can still use the broom. It has better range, but I assume much lower damage. Okay. We got some stuff in here. I think this guy had a bad day. To a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. I took injury from the strange creature across the room. My pendant all but shattered from the scaffold. Check him out, though. I'd say I fared better than he. He caught me spying on him near the Guardian's room. He dropped a couple of items when he fled. One of which is this. Map? Diagram? Whatever it is. I was right? They called me crazy. Said old crazy Pete done gone lost his marbles. But I was right. Each guardian of a dungeon must possess a key of sorts. All of them linked to that giant locked door outside the dungeons. The fifth door of Rinoka. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. To whoever found me, I'll apologize for the smell. But the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please, open the fifth door. These dungeons are not what they seem. Okay. If you say so. So, this is a dead end. Big boss gonna kill me. 
I supposed to let them all out. Now I have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Ah, oh, big boss gonna be so upset with little me. Okay, so here's the diagram. <laughs> A super complicated diagram. Well then. Okay, what's this all about? Alright. Wait, what am I supposed to do with that? L? Oh yeah, that's the pendant, right. So using the pendant we can escape. Fair enough. I didn't get a whole lot. But that's fine. I'm still treating that one as a tutorial. <laughs> ah, the young proprietor of Moonlighter has returned. You look intact. Finally learned to use that pendant properly. It's about time, boy. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? You... you found old Pete? Dead. See? This is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, well. Just get the artifacts you need from the golem dungeon. And look after Moonlighter. Now, I noticed some posts on the town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in, attempt to revitalize this town. Apparently they need some startup capital first. Would be nice to see some new life in Rinoka. Nice indeed. Okay then. Well then, let's check it out. Yes, let's. Investments. Town. Shop. Okay. Vulcan's Forge. Do you feel the dungeons are too hard? Tired of your old weapon? I can solve that if you bring me enough money and materials. A forge to be reckoned with. The Wooden Hut. Is brute force getting you nowhere in the dungeons? Visit the Wooden Hut to find potions and enchantments for this and that. Okay. The Retailer. Tired of looking for items in the dungeons? Leave that job to others and come to Blurry Taylor, where you'll find the finest items in Rinoka. Blurry Taylor, because life's complicated enough. Yeah, okay. Banker, interested in making your money work for you. Trust your money with my hands and I will make it grow in your eyes. Signed, the Banker. And Hawker. As a hawker, I've traveled the world looking for techniques to create objects that can inspire people. Visit my cart to find objects that can make your shop look more interesting to visitors. Alright then. So, well, right now we can't afford anything, we got 100. So, what about shop? Shop level 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright. Cheap sale box, average sale box. Right, we obviously can't afford any of that right now. Okay then. Boy, Renoka has been seen better days. When your grandpa first opened Moonlighter, people from all over lands would come to visit the shop. The hustle and bustle was constant, but now... Yeah, yeah, we get the message. So... Right, let's see. How is this going to work exactly? Is this all the stuff we can sell? We can also dump it back here, I take it. Quick move all. Alright. So I remember this thing over here was too expensive. We can remove it. We can change the price. How exactly does that work? Hold on. Like this? Yeah, there we go. So, I don't know, 80? We don't have a whole lot of space down there. Read. Oh yeah, that's the chart. Right. Nothing to see here, at least not yet. Reach jelly, white stone... Okay. 
Well, we can just move all of it. Real quick. I'm sure this will get faster <laughs> when I play more. And what about that book that we had? Let's see. Right here. Notebook, inventory, wish list, calendar. All right. So, notebook. Crystallized energy, glass lenses, golem core. What's the most expensive item we have? It goes up to 3000 from the looks of it. Okay. And two gold at the bottom. Okay, so hardened steel is the most expensive item we got. Let's see. Can we increase the price faster than this? Because that's a little bit slow. Doesn't seem like it. Actually, yes, we can. There we go. That was kind of obvious. So, I don't know, 150, 200? I suppose we can always lower the price. That's the general idea, right? Yes, it is. Okay, place that. That one should be a little bit cheaper, so, I don't know, 150? Again, we can always just lower the price if needed. No, not 10,000, this is quite fine. And what else? Golem core, crystallized energy, white stone. Okay, white stone. So, 125. Yeah, whatever, that's fine. And now we can open the store. Let's see how that goes. Probably not great. Alright, let's see. Oh, apparently that one was too cheap, I think. Yeah, I think that means it was too cheap. Well, alright. I guess we sold them. So, sell. And they didn't buy the last one. <laughs> It's still too expensive, I guess. 50? 40? Alright, 40. And we can place a few more items. We still got fabric. So, let's try... 250? 350. Okay, probably still too much. Crystallized energy. Oh yeah, that's the same one. The vines were super cheap, so that's going to be, like, I don't know, free. That was the cheapest item, if I remember right. So not exactly worth a lot. Let's see, is this still too cheap? No, now it's too expensive, fair enough. Right, let's reduce that to... 270. Okay, well, we sold it. Good enough. Bye bye. Iron bar, iron bar, glass lenses. One hundred. If it's too expensive, we can change it. Apparently, that's too expensive, really? Yeah, okay. That's not really worth much. That one was fine. It's already getting dark, I think. Here, enjoy your merchandise. So... Golem core. I suppose that's fine. 180? Okay, 90. Probably too much. Well, hey, someone bought the vines. And they bought the golem core as well, alright. That's probably enough now, we can close. I suppose we can sell a few more items. So, iron bar. 100. Hey, we made some decent money. So that's basically what this game is. A mix of running the store 
and dungeon crawling. Interesting combo. Is he going to buy the iron bar? No, it's too expensive apparently. Alright, fair enough. Let's lower that to 90. Here, 90. Maybe that's fine. Come on, buy my stuff. No, that's still too expensive. Alright. 70. Come on, bro. I know you want it. I think it's time to close soon. Come on, buy my stuff. Nope. Still too expensive. Yeah, alright. I think it's probably a little bit too late now. Yeah, it's too late. Hey, that wasn't too bad. It's fine. Here's everything we sold. We made 2000. Decent. Popularity of items. Right, so here we can see demand. And balance. Right. Okay then. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up for this episode and continue in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it, for a bit of a change of pace from my usual games. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.